Assalamu alaikum. My name is Zubair Hussain. I'm a cognitive behavioral psychotherapist, and today we're going to be talking about attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, or it's also known as ADHD. ADHD is a behavioral disorder. It's characterized by inattentiveness, hyperactivity, and impulsiveness. Unfortunately, it can be misdiagnosed as a learning disability such as autism or Asperger's. It can also be misdiagnosed as a mental health disorder as well. Some of the symptoms include experiencing a short attention span, finding it difficult to follow through instructions. Your child might become quite hyperactive, maybe behaving in an impulsive manner and having little sense or no sense of danger as well. They may talk excessively. They may experience a lot of irritableness maybe become quite agitated and angry at times as well. ADHD can be incredibly impacting. It can affect the child's performance in school and their progression academically. It can also impact their ability to form and maintain relationships. Unfortunately, there's a lot of stigma and misunderstanding when it comes to ADHD. People or even parents might think their child's being incredibly challenging and demanding. The child might be labeled as naughty or troublesome and that will reinforce that negative image to that child. There's many reasons why ADHD occurs. Some of them are genetics. Some of them are poor nutrition during pregnancy or early infancy. And also family environment can impact the way the child behaves as well. What we do know research suggests children from unstable family environments or traumatic or violent families can present with ADHD. ADHD can put a lot of stress and strain on families. Siblings might find it difficult to communicate with that child who's got symptoms or behaviors of ADHD. Parents can become quite stressed and distressed by their child's presentation as well. A lot of parents might seek alternative remedies such as going to faith healers, spiritual leaders, or even herbal remedies as well. Unfortunately, it can really impact the entire family the child themselves might struggle to maintain form relationships, even relate to other children or even relate to their family. Families might want to punish that child, try to condition their behavior, always with that intention, maybe their behavior will improve. It's really important to seek the correct treatment for ADHD. If left supported, it can really impact that child's self-worth, self-esteem and confidence as well. Unfortunately, it can result in social exclusion for that child as well, and in some cases, antisocial behavior as well. This is why treatment can help reduce the stress and strains in the family and the family dynamics, and also encourage that child to develop positive behaviors and manage their negative behaviors much better as well. There's many therapies and treatment available for ADHD. For example, there's some medication available which can help the child regulate their behavior much better and help them relax and reduce their anxieties as well. Also, and more importantly to consider, there's some excellent family therapy available as well, where parents can learn the skills and techniques on how to deal with their child's challenging behaviors and how to respond to their negative and challenging behaviors as well. Things like family therapy can also benefit the siblings, not just the parents themselves, to help create a better environment rather than experiencing that stress and strain alone. Sadly, there's a lot of taboo and stigma when it comes to ADHD. Parents might feel guilty. Parents may even get blamed that maybe you're not controlling your child well enough. Maybe you could do more to instill some manners in your children as well. If only it was that easy. Also, on a societal level, people might struggle to accept your child's behavior or may actually treat that child differently as well. This is why it's really important to speak to professionals about what help you can receive. And there's a lot of help out there that you can receive for your child. It can really encourage families not to experience that guilt and that discrimination in the community or even society and help them normalize some of their child's behaviors. You would be really surprised the amount of children who may have traits of ADHD, but unfortunately, it's something that is not talked about much. If you feel you have any traits or symptoms of ADHD, it's really important you speak to a professional about it. It does not necessarily mean you're cursed or broken in any way. What we do know with the correct support and treatment, children with ADHD can perform just as well as their counterparts. Having a child with ADHD is not a curse from God. It does not even mean you're being punished from God. 
Unfortunately, some parents can start blaming themselves, thinking maybe I'm lacking in something, my parenting skills are bad, or I'm doing something wrong with my child. The child themselves might start blaming themselves. They may feel different to the children in their class as well and become quite withdrawn and isolated. Unfortunately, society can often portray some negative and maybe idealistic views of how children should be, how they should perform and how they should behave as well. The Imam, Imam Ali salam, beautifully reminds us that do not force your children to behave like you for they have been created for a time which is different to your time.